Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton. Your opening line database is full. Please purge archive or expand memory before attempting opening line generation. And it is time for episode 38 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer, in which I'm going to demand that this guy explain himself right after I apologise for the fact that my uh, upstairs neighbours have very conscientiously decided to postpone their daily furniture moving session until right now, when I start recording. Their timing is impeccable, uncanny some might say. Regardless, it's time to demand that Yuri explain himself and also this curious grimoire I happen to have found, you smug bastard. Yuri Hey Yuri, would you care to explain this? Do you know why a book that you took from the library was in Henry's safe? Nothing to do with me. Henry says a stranger passed him a forbidden book and told him to keep it a secret. That book is one you accessed. Not sure you can prove that, freak. If I remember correctly, the library vaults only record entry and exit, not what was read or taken. You just happen to know that. No, freak, I don't just happen to know that. I use the vault to acquire books for the architect. I know how the system works because I use it often. Did you access the library vault and give forbidden books on demonology to Henry? No. You're the only one of the suspects who accessed that vault. That doesn't mean the book came from me. Yeah, it doesn't, but it strongly points in that direction, buddy. See, this is what I expected. Every time I get more evidence, I bring it to people and they just deny, 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 which is the correct thing to do when the police are questioning you, in case you were wondering, but it's inconvenient for me, the police. Got time to chat, Yuri? What is it? You look like the kind of person that likes wine. I do, a refined drink. I'm able to enjoy expensive wine. Better wine. You're fortunate. It helps that I have access to older wines. Always a sign of quality. Well, that's not always true. Most wines are made to be consumed within their first one to five years. Trust me, freak. Older is better. You're clearly not experienced with wine. Not everyone can appreciate wine. It isn't something for novices or the lower class. You're knowledgeable. Yes. Goodbye, freak. Goodbye, Yuri. Well, that didn't help anything. May you see through a million eyes. May you reach the moon. Is that it? That's all I got out of that? God damn. Okay. Well, uh, hmm. I think what I'm going to go do is ask Henry to explain his book and then... I'm going to go talk to Grace Bloodlines and see if she's got any light to shed on all of the fascinating new elements we've discovered. So I'll get back to you in a second. It's actually such a pain to get out to this island. The path is so long and it's boring. You just sprint in a straight line for genuinely about 40 seconds. Um, and that's torture for me with my attention disorder. But yeah, so I actually used the fast travel for like the third time this playthrough. I found a forbidden tome about demonology in your apartment. What are you doing with it? Are you fucking real? Is this one big fucking joke? What the fuck do you think I was doing with it? Propping up a table? I was doing some fucking demon fuckingology. Well, who gave it to you? A stranger. We went through this already. Is this where your memory fails you? Don't get cute. Unhelpful. Let's talk, Henry. What the fuck is up with the slaughter ritual? Citizens don't get to go to the next island, so a ritual takes place where the citizens are sacrificed to the gods. Ouch. The temple becomes awash with blood and the psychic energy of deaths is directed to the gods by the high priestess. Don't you think that's really fucked up? It's the worst part of this whole thing. Perfect 25 should end it, no more dead islands. But a big fucking load of kidnapped citizens though, right? Sounds real perfect. Whatever. See, as far as like, hitting on the whole kind of like, anti-capitalist metaphor we've got going on, that I do like and does fit in. Because it is important to remember that like, it's a system that can only be maintained by the, the blood and sweat of the people at the bottom who had no choice about being in it in the first place. If it was more of that fairly blunt but like pretty decent kind of just 
layering it on and talking about it in those terms, I think it would work a lot better for the, the, the narrative as a whole. It is unfortunate that they very often don't think about the further implications. Or indeed, anything further than surface level for the most part. There's no reason not to be using this all the time now. <laughs> like, like I've got nearly 50 gems in the bank. Why not? Why not just zoom around on a cool car? Anyway, hi. Uh, I noticed that your ghostly posture, your um, rather questionable ectoplasmic knee knockedness, is still the case. I completely forgot about that. Looks great when you see her from the knees up. Looks weird otherwise. Oh, she can probably tell me about the demon book. Yeah. Did you experience a comms blackout last night from the reality folding drive burst? It would be very convenient for that to happen last night, wouldn't it? I think whoever told you that is lying. Well, yeah. Do you know anything about the fourth holy seal? I know it requires godliness to get through. How do you know that? As a spirit, I can go places others cannot. How can someone get through it? Find out how to become close to a god. What about Henry? What are gods and demons when you get down to it? Aliens? Beings from the depths of the universe? How could the Syndicate differentiate between a demon and a god? What if that's the flaw in their plan? Could a demon get through the god seal? Well, could it? Interesting. This still doesn't help me get through the seals, though, because I'm stuck on the third one, which I'm not sure I know anything about yet. Got time to chat? I have all the time in the world until the island ends. What's your take on Perfect 25? There is no such thing as perfection. The Syndicate has obsessed over demonic corruption, but turned a blind eye to the corruption of itself. I mean, I'm not sure... What does corruption mean in the context of a society that is inherently cruel and unjust in the first place? Do they only care about corruption that affects members of the Syndicate, or is she referring to the fundamentally exploitative nature of this entire realm? Are you expecting Perfect 25 to fail? Fail is a broad term. Nothing lasts forever, does it? Everything changes, including perfection. I don't think many people want to hear that. A human's folly. Believing what you want is not acceptable. You can tell how far a society is away from collapse by how many people flock to demagogues. Are you saying Carmelina is a demagogue? She's the one peddling perfection, isn't she? The only one offering the easy answer to, our, to all our warriors. Perfection is a lie. Perfection will crumble. Perfection is sold to fools. Do you think we can achieve perfection, investigator? That's what I'm here to find out. I hope you do, investigator. Oh, I can't, I can't ask her about the book. She's the demonologist and I have a demonological text. May you always live in the shadow. May you reach the moon. I, she, I have a demon text and I can't ask the only demonologist on the island about it. That seems ridiculous to me. It's weird that they didn't at least think of some kind of a line about it where she says, oh, it's just uh, this thing that I don't particularly know much about or that I don't care about or that you shouldn't care about or whatever. Right, okay, so I'm not certain where to go next, really. I, I clearly have some more stuff I can ask Sam Daybreak about, and that's about it. Where am I going to find a crowbar for this thing? Or a hammer or something like that. So I guess the next things on my plate, one is to go placate the handful of ghosts that remain unplacated. Another is to get some kind of a lead on K-Hacks. Because I'm pretty behind on figuring out what was up with that. I'm also still not clear as to whether I clear up the other crimes at uh, the one trial or whether I solve those crimes in this context. even going. Uh, I think what I'm going to do right now is see how far I can get into the council building. I'm going to see how what the game will let me do. 
Because I, I know the first seal is permanently breached now because there's no marshals guarding it. And I know the second de uh, the second can be bypassed by means of the beach stuff. So I'm not sure if I can just go right in or if I need to go use the obelisks on the beach first. I will definitely try first and see what happens. It looks like I might only discover... Like, this is metagaming, which I talked about like 30 episodes ago, but um, we can tell because the game says uh, something about... Like, in your notes, it says something about the seal being deep within. So there's clearly something going on. What a mess. I wish I could remember what Aikiko said in response to my accusation that the martial guards weren't martial guards. Anyway, let's see. This is the back way in that we've already seen quite a long time ago. Which for anyone who's watching now but didn't watch then, uh, there's, uh, there's basically like a, a back way in that bypasses the, the outside seal. Which of course raises the question, if breaking in through the back door was a... Uh, a part of this terrible crime that's happened, why were the guys out front murdered? Like, what's the connection there? Anyway, let's see what happens. Hell yeah! That is a stylish space helmet. I love the little, the little heart decals on it. So this is space, huh? A lovely looking esoteric plateau. What secrets does the second holy seal hold? Try saying that three times fast. But wait, we already knew about the space helmet. How's the gravity out here? Not much different. Certainly higher than it should be for an asteroid of this size, which is basically small enough to have no gravitational pull whatsoever. Nice little Romanesque vibe to these ruins, though. Are they abandoned space ruins? Is that a meaningful question to ask? Is there any treasure for me to find? Actually, I am going to use the treasure checker thingy. Just because I can't be bothered to explore every inch of this place if... If there's nothing. Wait, what did that say? My mind hasn't touched anything. Okay, so I guess that's telling me that in, in this entire cell of the game world, there is nothing to find. Or at least no collectibles. I need to find out how to unlock this. Oh, for real? I thought traversing this space required some kind of um, extra-dimensional brain situation, which is why you need a demon in you, because of... Uh, Because that's what everybody said, right? Shinji referred to it as, like, feeling feeling the weight inside a can. You can tell where the coin in the can is just by tilting it. Except doing that with 3D space in general. These look like the symbol I activated on the beach. If I remember correctly, the pattern was Scholar, Bird, Snake, Bull. Maybe that's just for the system, so if you... Wait, hang on. Before I forget, let's see. Scholar. Bird. Snake. Bull. That's it. It must have unlocked something. This was designed to safeguard against random attempts to crack the code. Was Shinji right? Did the demon possessing Henry feel its way through? One last kiss was our exorcist. She might be able to help. Oh, okay, right. So... So there is, a there is a method for human users to be able to bypass the lock, but a demon with its twisty brain can twisty brain its way through. It's a shame I've already used, twi used Terminal Something Syndrome a couple times as episode titles, because Terminal Twisty Brain Syndrome would have been a great one. That's pretty much what I suffer in real life. Well, well, well. What's going on up here, huh? Why is this? So this is open already. The third holy seal. It looks like a bloodlock. Starlight can take a look. 
A bloodlock coded to council blood. To get through this, you need to have the blood of one of the council members in you. Or presumably a sample to trick the lock with. Who's bloodlocked in through the hair? All of the council expected. This lock has hardly been used since the start of the island. There's only a few instances of logins over the centuries. Every time the lock's been opened, it's been as a group. The entire council with no exceptions, except recently. There are two anomalies here. There's an unknown blood sample that logged in last night after all of the council had entered meditation. Starlight doesn't recognize it. An unknown individual with council blood came through the lock last night while the council were meditating. How do we have an unknown suspect with council blood? Who else entered the hallowed ground? Henry's blood was used on this lock last night. Does that put him at the scene? Henry's father was Ais Kiwami, a council member. That gives him the council blood he'd need to open this lock. And one of the council logged in two days ago, stayed for just a few minutes and left. Kafka memory. What was he doing here without the rest of the council? The blood chiller Sam had in his hidden distillery had a blood sample bottle with the letter K on it. The bottle was scrubbed clean, but it could very well be Kafka memory's blood. If it was, that means Sam used it two days ago to open this blood log. Was he setting up the crime? I need to check with Doom Jazz. Maybe the sample is missing. So once again, once again, I have several uh, of my theories pushed forwards. The idea that this is a conspiracy of everyone involved, or the idea that this was several different people trying to do several different things that happened to happen at the same time in such a way that it lined up to allow tragedy to happen, also seems possible. You know, we know that um, we know that those two insist they didn't kill the council, but that they were unhappy. We know we know that they're at the scene of the crime. It's entirely possible that they broke in, bypassed the second and third locks for their own purposes. Uh, perhaps they wanted to threaten the council in some way without killing them or whatever. And um, then you know whoever's trying to break into the council, I don't know, the next day kills the guys on the front gate, goes in, finds these doors already open. It's not impossible. I guess this is the fourth holy seal. What's the deal? There's a data port. Starlight might find something. Data port OS. Syndicate OS. Black Planet version. Interfacing. Handshaking. Authenticating. Welcome to Syndicate OS Black Planet. To deactivate Fourth Holy Seal Barrier, please become godlike. Barrier? The barrier is freaking out. Become godlike? Please present godliness to Bioscanner. Let's check it to see if someone is biologically godlike. Error, 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 error. I'm not reading the rest of that. Fourth Holy Seal is non responsive. System has suffered critical failure. Please reboot system. Leader Montserrat, authorization required. The fourth holy seal is toast. Whatever happened last night did a number on it. People have been using crying grudges flesh to pass through the barrier. Did Henry's demon really manage to get through? Well, it, it would be interesting if a demon simply did not read as... Uh, not godly. Since, I mean, I was saying all along, like, what's the difference between a god and a demon? And the game refused to tell me. <laughs> Until I eventually met Grace, and Grace said, well, you know, demons demons are extra-dimensional psychic entities, and gods are really powerful psychic entities uh, from the depths of space. So maybe they are the same thing, and maybe they're not. Can I just go through? I mean, it's busted, right? I imagine it would stop me if I wasn't supposed to come through here. This blood trail leads away from the council penthouse. Whose blood is it? No match to any council members that were in here last night. There is a trace of Ais Kiwami's blood. He took his own life years ago, though. It doesn't match Henry's blood. He doesn't have a massive wound on him anyway. No matches. Someone else was here last night. Why does this blood just end at the wall? The wall's normal, no sign of a secret entrance or anything. This just gets weirder. 
Also, supposedly no one's been in here, right? But if this seal is busted, then there's every chance that a lot of people could have been in and out of here in in-between times. All right, well, I'll admit this is definitely a hell of a mess. Isn't this a demon restraint coffin like we saw in the in the secret illegal basement lab? I imagine these are the previous 25 23 islands. We've got statues of of the goat. Corpses all over the floor. The space helmets that presumably they use to get through. Two are missing, and I think I have two in my inventory. How many council members were there and how many corpses are there? We've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we've got a whole ass dead demon here as well. Okay, well that's... Hmm. This is definitely the demon from the secret lab. I, rec I recognize this picture from the wall, so... Does that mean that... I was inside one of these chests. Is, that, is there a demon locked up in this chest as well? Is that a bullet hole on the wall? Nobody uses guns, right? Except me. A lot to ponder here. A lot to ponder. And this as well. Petals, maybe? Well, it looks like we're going to discover a hell of a lot of information next episode. So, feel free to come back and join me uh very soon where we will start examining the corpses including the demon corpse and the general locale and try and fit this into our theory of what's happened anyway that's going to be it from me today join me next time and we'll uh, consider what an enormous goddamn mess this is thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this please like subscribe and share I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. What se- Does this- What secrets does the heckin-